What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube. I'm here. I'm your host. I'm your host. Hosty man. I'm Hosty, M Hosty McGee. And that's what they call me back at the uh, back at the at the factory. And uh, I'm probably just gonna. Well, it depends on how quickly this fills. Team Bro Team J were only 33 trophies. Jeez. Wow. Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, J.K. JK, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, what do you think of Unsettled Mariner? I think the card is fantastic, and it's going to find a lot of homes. A lot of homes. So, um... What was I going to say? I was going to say, we have two steps in the queue. One is Crutch Jr. again, because Crutch Jr. is a maniac and doesn't like his opponents having lands. And that step is let's try not to let the opponent have any lands as many ways as possible to take the opponent's mana away. And then Goalie has a step. This is for every pick. You have to decide which card you would normally take. And then you must take a card touching it. Left, right, above, below, or wrapped around. So if it's in the upper left, you could do the upper right. Any card adjacent to it. So let's see... No mana denial cards. I'll wait till we hit a mana denial card. I'll get this one out of the way. And then we'll just do the mana denial one when it seems like it's going to present itself. Add com stip. Okay. So the card I would probably take out of this pack... Oh, man. I'm just going to draft like normal, and then I'll just wait. I'll, I'll, at the end, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to take... I would probably take Jitte. I don't think I've ever first picked Leovold. Uh, I think I'd probably take a Jitte. Or a Deceiver Exarch, but I also don't think I take Deceiver Exarch that high either. I do like Jitte. I don't think this pack is that great, which is which is fine. Also, power trumps all, and I can ignore I can ignore the the you know the things for power. So uh, if we we can we can take either Bird Shardless or Verdant Catacomb here. It's pretty good. I would I I probably wouldn't have let off with Verdant Catacomb. Yeah, I guess we'll take the Catacomb. Maybe the Leovold comes back and we have a way to get it. I'd probably take Snapcaster here. Uh, I don't think I would second pick a Woodfall Primus, especially... Eh. This is hard, you know, because it's like, what would I take here? Let's say I'm just going to naturally... I'm trying to like get my head in the space where I'm like, okay, I'd naturally draft this pack. I don't think I'd second pick this. I'd probably take Snapcaster, which would lead me taking Lightning Strike, Land Tax, or Woodfall Primus. I could. I. I don't think I'd take this. I don't think I'd take Scrubland, which is interesting because this would be like what you'd only get Palancron or Land Tax. Hmm. The cards on the end get more interesting. I think we're just gonna take Woodfall Primus because I think naturally I would. I would gravitate towards Snapcaster. I think. Oh well, I would take Library of Alexandria. <laughs> I don't know why that's still in the pack. Do we consider Library of Alexandria power? Because I feel like it's tertiary, it's it's secondary power, like Soul Ring. I mean, I think we can all agree that that this card is nuts. Turner saying nope, that's insane, dude. I think this is stronger than most of the Moxes and stuff. Like this card is nuts. Yeah, I think it's on par with Soul Ring. I'm definitely we're just taking this. Alternatively, would have taken. Uh, I, I think we'd probably take this with the way the deck is looking right now. So probably hissing Quagmire. Yeah, nothing else is really exciting. I think it, was, it would either be Noble Hierarch or Arcane Artisan, which would get us Avacyn or Siege Ganger Sword. So we'll just take Kissing Quagmire. Probably Green Sun Zenith with which, which with with it with, 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 Wow, that was amazing. With the way the deck is looking, um, maybe Gruel Signet, but I think it's I'd probably lean towards Green Sun, especially because we would have had. I don't think we can't look at what we would have had, right? Like we have to look at the deck now. Power of Alexandria is definitely a library. That is true. Yeah, so I think if this was the if this was the case, we're probably gonna just take the Glint Sleeve Siphoner. I would take Vivian Reed here, I think. Which is rough, because now we have Heartbeat and Heary. Uh, <laughs> it's hard because you have to like be honest with yourself about what you would have taken, right? And I think I'm looking at this deck, I got mono green lands, I got a woodfall, I got a glint sleeve. 
it's either this or the dismember which would leave us with these two but i think i'd probably just take vivian i'm a big fan of vivian because it just kills being able to destroy an artifact and enchantment or a creature with flying in the cube is pretty powerful i don't know if i want nahiri because it's just not any of these colors but i also don't want heartbeat of spring either i think we're gonna go with nahiri that's rough <clears throat> Here I'd probably take Incubation Druid <clears throat> because obviously Woodfall, Greenlands. Uh, which means we guess we take Vampire Nighthawk here because I'm not going to take Lion's Eye Young Pyromancer. All right, well, this is rough. Oh, when you said rap, you meant that rap too. What do you? How do you mean? What did I miss? Oh, so like if if Pyro, if I went to pick Pyromancer, it would actually go to the upper left too. Because that's like the closest card. Is the stip to draft as badly as possible? Well, you can just check the stip, my, my dude. Why don't bears wear shoes? Because they prefer bear fit. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'd probably take this. Which means I'm leaning towards Edric. That's a yikes for me, dog. All right, so Jitte is still in the pack, which is comical. I guess we'll take Shardless Agent because of that. I could see taking Mirari's Wake, but we're not white. Like, we have no white. So I would probably just take Jitte. Again, if this is my first pick, I'm not going to... It's I'm not going to not make it my ninth pick, so... Here I would take the Scrubland. Uh, so we'll probably take Mastermind's Acquisition instead, I guess. Um, I think Liliana's Triumph is probably the pick here, which means we'll take Gideon Jura. This is amazing. I think there should be some exceptions for lands, too. Uh, because this is, this is a little rough. Avacyn's probably the pick here, which I guess means we take Siege Gang. Actually, I can see Revelark being the pick, because we have a lot of creatures that hit Revelark. Um, but either way, like, Siege Gang is the way to go flicker wisp oh we're probably gonna take deranged hermit which means i guess we get flicker wisp uh, i'll probably just take bane fire this is nuts i'd probably take the dismember which means we're stuck with this avalanche riders then we get pyre clowns wow these red cards are something else okay <clears throat> well i would take the treachery which means we get lyra fatal push or tangle wire but I think we're probably just going to take Blood Crypt instead. Because otherwise we're not going to have a playable deck. So we're going to take the Blood Crypt here. Why would we drop? I don't understand. Like, these are two negative comments so far. That's not, that's, what's, what, where's the fun here? What's going on? Time Twister is power, but I'm not even going to care. I would probably take out of this one... Based on this deck, I'd probably actually take Is It Signet, which means Colagon's Command, Dark Ritual, or Search for Morrow. Uh, might just want Stirring Wildwood. Now we have a, a significant amount of white and green cards. How are we looking here? What's our color? Bl Red is actually our highest. What if we just get rid of these and we try to be Mardu? That's an option. Of course, we now have... Yeah, Verdant Catacombs is actually still still good. So if we took this and then we, we'd go to the Colagon's Command, actually that works... But then is Colagon's Commander our pick? I guess we can then take Phyrexian Arena, so. Um, man, I still think it'd be as insane because we'd want to cast these guys. It's probably just Colagon's Command. I don't know. It's hard because you're adjusting like, ooh, in a perfect world I'd take this, but based on my deck, maybe I'd take this. I don't actually know. Yeah, we'll just take the Colagon's Command. I guess that's fine. Worm Coil seems pretty safe here. Uh, but that being the case, we'll probably just take Council's Judgment. I can also see taking Gilded Lotus, which would leave us with Oath of Druids and a Myria Angel and Maze of Ith. Yeah, we're just going to go with the Council's Judgment with the Worm Coil engine being the pick. Um, here, I do like Knight of Autumn. Let's put these green cards in the sideboard for now.
man. I feel like we're also in the right colors if we're if we're trying for Mardu. I like Fiery Confluence, so I'll probably just take Damnation. If I like Damnation, I'll probably take Fiery Confluence. What would I what would I base pick? I'd probably base pick Fiery Confluence because it's kind of like a sweeper, but it's also in red, which is one of our our higher colors. So I guess we'll just take Damnation. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna take this Inspiring Vantage and and be thankful for it. We could take Vampiric Tutor, but then we'd have to. We it, we're, this would be our first pick, so we probably would, we would have Ancient Tomb or Razor Verge Thicket. So I'm just gonna take the Vantage and call it a day. Oh man, Chipotle sponsorship would be legit. Uh, this would probably be my pick here because <laughs> it's great for our deck. So in that case, I'm probably just going to take the Concealed Courtyard anyway because obviously our mana needs some real help. I'd probably take Bitter Blossom, which means we get Yogmoth or Hanger back. Um, Yogmoth doesn't seem actually great here. Hanger back could be fine. <laughs> I could see taking a Bane Slayer because it's just very good. I think we're probably just going to take Hanger back because it's kind of just like a bad Bitter Blossom. And we could use some two drops. So I'm going to take Needle Spires here. I could see Doom Whisper would be the pick, which means we get Fairgrounds Warden or sort of Feast and Famine, which I think is fine. But I'm just going to take this land because if we can't cast these, okay. Elspeth would be the pick here. So that's actually great because we either get a Battle Skull or a Lyra. And I think we actually want the Batter Skull. It's easier on the mana if we happen to get like a Stone Forge. It's pretty good. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I personally like Sword. <laughs> I think it's real good. Again, it goes to Stone Forge if we get one. So we're probably just going to take Phyrexian Arena over Moat. I don't think we're a Moat deck. We also have Damnation. I'm going to just take Phyrexian Arena. Maybe we're just some Mardu control deck here. Well, I'd probably just take a Miri Angel here. So I guess wrap heap scrounger we don't really have ways to discard things so we're not really trying to reanimate this i think it's just scrap heap scrounger and i don't think it's gonna be played i would take necromancy here which means we probably just get recruiter which i don't think actually gets siege gang avalanche riders and vampire knight i guess it gets a lot of our creatures i guess but i don't think it's i would take this so i guess we're taking char i would take this so i guess we're getting corpse dance and then we get an ink eyes, which I may actually probably play. All right. How do we feel about mind twist? Is mind twist power? I feel like mind twist is on the same level as library and soul ring here. Okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page with this mind twist because that should help our strat a little bit. All right, playable deck incoming. We can do this. I would 100% take this Boros Signet, <laughs> which means we got a Probe, a Nissa, or an Arbor Elf. Oh, I got a Kaya here too, actually, which is pretty good. I'd probably take, I'd 100% take Boros Signet over. Um, which means we're probably taking just Probe here, I guess. Unless this is good enough fixing to count as as fixing. Hmm. Go to that reserve. I'm not sure. I don't want to. I'll, I mean, we'll take pro if we have to. I just wanna. I just wanna see. Go. It's totally up to you, man. But this does. This could be. I mean, this is definitely fixing. I am. I'm definitely looking for a lifeline here. Do it. Okay. Cool. Just want to make sure. Uh, flooded strand would be the. I mean, I don't think we're taking the Flooded Strand because we don't have anything to get with it. Um, that being the case, I would 100% take Grave Titan. So, I guess we're just taking Mesmeric Fiend. Copperline Gorge isn't great. Neither is Garrick. So, Mesmeric Fiend it is. Uh, actually, I'd probably take... Actually, I'd, I think we do take Mana Confluence here. Uh, probably not playing Pyroclasm in the main. Maybe not Damnation in the main either. I don't know. We'll take Mana Confluence. That seems good. Uh, here we're probably going to take... This Actually, this one's tough. It's either Condemn or 
Bells Unlock? I don't think it's Bone Shredder, but it might... I mean, just because of these two. It, it, I think these are better than Bone Shredder, which means we're probably going to end up taking Bone Shredder. I could see us taking Brimaz. But it's double white. We already have Council and Gideon and... It might just be Bone Shredder. <laughs> Frank stole his money! Oh, Lord. I think it's just Bone Shredder. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, man. I would probably take Smuggler's Copter over Tide Hollow Skeller, which means I think we're probably just going to take Tide Hollow Skeller. Uh, and then we have Mesmeric Fiend and Tide Hollow Skeller. That seems fine, I guess. I could also see taking Chicken, but eh, I don't think it's better than one of the... Like, I think Red is definitely uh, not our heaviest color. Here, we would 100% take a Johnny Vengeant, uh, which is sad because we have a Vampire Hex Mage. And I go already taking it in a hunt master. So I think we're probably taking the hex mage. Yeah, we'll just take hex mage. Oh, no more lands, huh? <gasps> we would take stone forge. Oh no. So I guess we're taking Rick's Mad Eye Reveler and hoping we can spectacle it at some point. Oh man, that stone forge would be gas, but Actually, we only have one equipment, so I guess it's fine. I'd probably take Wall of Omens here. Just as a nice way to hold off the the stuff. So I think we just take Metamorphose instead. Yeah, that's fine. That's our 23rd card, I guess. Rossmarin is testing out an aggro loomless very listed to the one. Similar to the one you wrote about. I don't know if it's top tier. It looks awesome. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like if a... He didn't run a Ren. That's interesting. I feel like that's like a it's like a perfect card in the format. Okay, well, we mentioned Kaya. I could also see taking one of these two. Um I could it's probably banishing light, which means we'll take the flame tongue kavu. Kaya's pretty good. Yeah, we're probably gonna take banishing light because we don't have an effect like that other than Council's Judgment, which I guess we get Flame Tongue Kavu. I'd probably take I'd definitely take Elspeth here, which means we're getting Duretti. Mom's spaghetti. Uh, I guess Runaway Steamkin, so we'll take a Tristani. I mean, we'd take Brimaz. So we get to we get to take a Funzy Mystic Snake. That's pretty good. There's 25. We're going to take Vampire Hex Mage out of the main. We get one more cut, huh? We have a Banefire and a Mind Twist. So I think this Signet's going to be more relevant than ever, but... Mastermind's Acquisition, are you good enough? This deck is really weird. I have no idea how this deck's going to do. This deck looks like someone's girlfriend drafted it. Let's not be sexist. That's not cool. I would take History, and I'll put Past and Flames in the sideboard. This deck looks like someone boyfriend. Nice. Nice save. Nice save. Um, yeah, I don't know if the Duretti fits well either, but being able to uh, just... I mean, okay, let's let, consider Duretti as plus two. You can discard two cards and draw that many. Like, that's pretty good. Like, it's just a looter. But that might not be good enough. I don't know. It might be better than Mastermind's Acquisition, where, like, you get, just get a bunch of lands in hand. Especially with, if we go Phyrexian Arena into Duretti, where we can just discard excess lands. Also, he can be your... Look, he can be your commander. <laughs> Let's not forget, guys. Let's not forget. Alright. Um, we do need one cut here. I think our man is actually pretty good, all things considered.
if what I said is offensive to someone, laugh. Okay, I mean, you can laugh at people being offended, or you can just be like, hey, I apologize uh that that bothered you i would try not to bother as a, as a fellow human being that has that i have consideration for i will try not to bother you it seems easy i mean it seems like an easier solution right i mean i don't know man like my default when when something bothers someone my default isn't to laugh at them my default is to be like hey let's try to figure out why, why that bothered you and i'll uh i'll refrain from doing it i apologize that just seems easier and more considerate, right? It's it's weird, like, being nice is, like, so, like, so taboo. Like, uh, well, it might just be Manamorphose. But Manamorphose seems pretty pretty good with, like, all the all the cards, surprisingly. Jokes are still funny. Shitty jokes aren't funny. What's funny? What's funny about your joke? Let's, let's break it down. Let's go into the joke. What's funny about it? What's the punchline? Is the punchline that women draft terribly? Women are terrible at magic, so that that's the punchline. What's funny about that? In all seriousness, I, in all seriousness, like what's the where's the why is that funny to you? Like you know, no, 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 no sarcasm whatsoever. Just actual like let's let's engage. Let's have a conversation about it. What's funny about that? What uh, what does the Rat Ninja do? Are you asking what it does in the deck or what it does in general? It's whenever he deals damage, you can resurrect one of their creatures, which is pretty good. I know I know many women who are who are fantastic at magic. So I mean, like I just don't get the joke. My girlfriend has drafted this deck. Looks like someone who drafted has a general idea of what they are doing, just not one hundred percent. But like that's that's such a better way of saying that. But I mean, like your joke just implies that all all women or all girlfriends. That, okay, so like that's a hundred go games. That if that is a hundred percent better, dude. If it's, if you literally say this looks like a deck my girlfriend would draft, that's a hundred percent better, a thousand percent. I like this guy's a four draw. I don't know what the one cut should be. Probably just... <laughs> oh, man. By which I mean auto pigs. <laughs> oh, that's... See, that's good. Oh, man. Okay, would the joke work if he said this looks like someone's non-magic playing girlfriend draft? Like, no, because why does it have to be girlfriend then? You could just literally say, would the joke work if he said this looks like someone's a non-magic player drafted it, right? Doesn't that doesn't that convey the same thing without like without a gender? The, the point is, if you switch the joke, girlfriend, the gender is no longer relevant. Right, so it's the 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 joke, the joke doesn't need a gender if that if you're switching it around. The joke didn't say girl. What? What are you? What are you talking about? What's going on right now? I'm confused. Anyway, I'm gonna play this deck. Why do these these conversations always happen when there's stipulations? <laughs> it's always like, hey. Let's have this thing come up during this person's stipulation. All right. Uh, we need to make one cut. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's... No, it's not a matter of being too sensitive, dude. It's, it's not. It's really not. It's a matter of, like, cor course-correcting behavior like that. Like, generalized sexism. Like, it's, it's a matter of course-correcting that. And making sure that it's just like, hey, if this is your default, if your default is to to to, to generalize or to go towards... I'm going to take the dirty out. He doesn't really do much. That's fine. 
Why do I have a silver two next to my name? Because you were the bits leader. That means you have a, a donated the second no, second highest amount of bits. Anyway, let's add the lands. Let's add the lands, guys, to this Magic the Gathering deck that we're playing. What do we got here? Sort by color. We have th three white cards, and two of them are double white. Mm. All right, so black one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black. We'll say eight black's fine for now. White, we have three, four, five, six, seven. Eight with the signet. Okay, eight's fine. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seems good because there's a lot of single. This actually seems okay. Yeah, I'm game. No snack? Uh, unfortunately, I don't think so. Yeah, actually, my fixing is pretty good. I'm going to be surprised if this deck actually does decent. Yeah, I didn't consider Tide Hollow Sculler or... I think only four. Four white cards, right? We're not five. Oh, Nahiri. Yeah, I didn't consider those white cards, per se. Oh, boy. Yeah, this seems fine. I mean, at worst, we get a 2-2 that loots, right? Why forest? Oh, Jesus. Did they put a forest in the deck? Tell me it didn't accidentally put a forest. Because the reason it put a forest was because of the, the Manamorphos. I thought I took it out, though. It's okay, guys. We'll top deck it right now. You ready? Hey, on a lighter note, let's give out more John Wick bucks. <laughs> Turner, thanks for the John Wick bug, buddy. Oh, boy, this is the red deck that we've always uh, been afraid of um, forever. Yeah, we're just going to play this guy and try to hit another land. This is actually great. It's got free loot. Discard. Banefire actually kills a thing, so I'm going to keep that. We can probably discard Ink Guys. That guy seems a little... Actually, this is a thing where this is like a slow-ass thing. But we can get a Pyroclasm with this. Let's discard the Ink Guys. This is nice because we can get a Blood Crypt, take 17 damage, and play Nighthawk. <laughs> I think the point is that women being a punchline in the gaming community is antiquated and misogynistic and if you don't understand why then you've probably had the privilege of not being a member of a subset of people frequently reduced to nothing more than the butt of many disrespectful jokes thank you thank you that that is it right there that's literally all it comes down to I think we can make better jokes that do not have to do with exploiting uh, a, a subset of people well, this doesn't actually gain us life anymore, so we can probably wait on that. And we'll just crack this naturally, I guess. We can fetch for us also. Oh, God, it's so bad. Why does John Wickbuck sound like a chicken? Wickbuck. I think buck in general sounds like a chicken, right? Like... Also, someone who just who just joined the stream and then left, I guess, said, Oh no, my first time catching you live, and I come into an oversensitive rant, I'll move on. Most women who play are bad, that's why all the top pros are men. Like, if that's your attitude, peace out. We can make better jokes like this deck. This deck is actually uh, the best joke of all, I think. My kingdom for a kitchen finks. And I can even play with my forest. That's why we have it in here. Uh... 
Oh god, there is a forest. It's so bad. So bad. God, we're basically dead, right? This is like a million damage a turn, and this guy... We don't have, Do we have any way to... Actually, we do. We have Council's Judgment to deal with this. Which is something. Mind Twist for two. Which probably better than Nighthawk here. But Nighthawk... No, we'll play the Nighthawk. Nighthawk doesn't gain us life, but it does. it is able to block pretty profitably, which is nice. Uh, the last thing I'm going to say about it, show enough, the last thing I'm going to say, you said I don't think it was a sexist remark. I think that the joke is that someone tried something new only because of their relation to said magic player. I, I, I don't think it was intended as one, for sure. But I do think that kind of, those kind of remarks are ingrained in people. So it's just a kind of like, it's a kind of thing. Like, there's all these social norms like, hey, women don't play games. Women don't play magic. If, the, if a woman is in an F&M, it's because her boyfriend's with them. And I, I agree those were common, but I don't think they should be... Uh, upheld moving forward is my point. And I think they are antiquated, so. Lightning bolt. I don't think we're I don't think we're winning this game guys let's get back on track so seven damage and this kills us so we're basically just dead they untap and kill us with shrine that's a thing all right we had a good run do we have any life gain cards in our sideboard perhaps I don't think so Huntmaster of the Fells, we got this one forest. Wow, that's so stupid. I'm done with you, forest. Shrine into Vortex is probably the best mono red start you can have, especially after Beaumont Courier. So red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources. Uh, black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And white, I think we have eight, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we have seven. Oh, and then eight with this, and then eight with this. Yeah, so I guess we just had another black source. That's a lot of black sources, though. Maybe we want another white source? I don't know. Trustani does make life linkers, actually. And Huntmaster. Let's put the Trustani and the Huntmaster in the deck. Take out Avalanche Riders and ink eyes and then we can take out two swamps for the forest and the hissing quagmire oh god and we also have manamorphose so we actually have manamorphose forest quagmire verdant catacombs for four this is we're going deep here boys apparently we didn't have enough forests that was the problem thank you third tail thank you so much for the reset buddy welcome back nine months feels like a lifetime Closing in on Splash and that Mystic Snake. <laughs> yeah, let's add a blue. Then we can add Charlotte, Asian, and Edric. Oh, let's add one more blue. Then we can finally play this guy. And then we've reached... I, th I think then we've peaked. All right, we do have a Council's Judgment, but I guess we have to choose whether to use it on the Shrine or the Sulfuric Vortex. It's always Sulfuric Vortex. Holy crap, that card is busted. Um, so we only saw, like, two creatures that, eh, like, Pyroclasm could be good, but it kills a lot of our guys, too, like Mesmeric Fiend, Tide Hollow, Rick's Mad. I think we're good on the ground against them. Thank you.
I will play first. Bill Brown with the Reese. 41 months. Good lord, man. I'm going to keep this hand, and I'm going to library first turn, and then we're going to just play Mesmeric Fiend. We'll see. We'll see what's going on here. Yeah, we have like eight sources of red, so I'm pretty okay with getting Huntmaster down. Oh, we found a red, guys. So we can go draw a card, play Quagmire. Giggity. Oh, next turn we get to go Inspiring Vantage. That's pretty nice. So we can go Inspiring Vantage, Mesmeric Fiend next turn. All right, I think we got this game. Boy, that's preemptive, but... Let's go to eight, play land, draw a card. Mana base is flawless. It's so good, guys. It's so good. Fat chicken, flame slash fire blast, chain lightning. I did not mean to take the chain lightning, but I guess that's fine. You're gonna kill it next turn. That's okay. Might go up to eight, play a land, play a Huntmaster, go down to six, and then draw a card in the following turn, just to get Huntmaster down. We've already uh, divinationed once off of library, so that's pretty cool. I don't actually know how to deal with Fat Chicken. Fat Chicken, how come you taste so good? <laughs> Do I block this guy and just give them Chain Lightning back? They have Avalanche Rider too. No, you have too many cards in hand. I, I don't want to block it. Okay, so eight cards. We can just go land, Huntmaster, and then they go. They're missing lands, which is nice. What cube cards are power but not part of power? I would say Library of Alexandria and Soul Ring. I'm not sure if any of them, any of the other ones are, but definitely those. Hold on one second. Gonna do something. Uh, I don't know if we want to just... Yeah, I think we just want to get some, some, some bodies on the board, right? Get the bodies on the board. Today, as it's... What's, what are you saying? App, Apperty? Bizarre, I think? Oh, I don't know what's going on. You guys are still talking about things that I thought we ended a while ago. But, yeah, we're just going to play Huntmaster here. Because we can draw a card next turn. And I'd rather start getting getting the beef. Where's the beef? This guy's going to die. But we still get a 2-2 two, two, and 2 life out of it. And they still have to commit a chain lightning to it. So that's fine. I mean, the alternative is waiting. Is Talon Trooper power? I think Talon Trooper is pretty close. I think Channel is pretty close too, yeah. I don't think Upheaval is, is close to power now. Uh, let's draw. Concealed Courtyard. Uh, one, two, three, four. Done. I would play Arena, but that deals us damage to draw cards, and uh, why would I do that? If they draw land, they're 100% killing this library, so... Already. Okay, got it, got it, got it.
and they did hit a land. So now we know they have fire blast. Yeah, that dude is <laughs> not even close. Do we just block Avalanche Rider? No, I'm going to make you pay for it. I'll take two here. Now it's just a tired little buddy. <laughs> Are you power? No, I'm just a tired little buddy. Uh, I guess it's just Phyrexian Arena. What's going on here? Pay the mana. Pay the man. Uh, play this. Play Courtyard. And then we can attack for two and then just pass with, with Walker and Pump Up. I would have counter counted Mana Drain, Mana Vault, Mana Crypt, and maybe Jace. Uh, I don't think Jace, but I would I would agree with Mana Drain, Mana Vault, and Mana Crypt as far as like un. So instead of calling it power, I would call them like the unpassable cards in the cube, right? Like you're never gonna pass. Uh, first pick, pack one, pick one. Like if I open Mana Drain pack three, and I don't have, if I'm not blue, then I'm like, okay, who cares? I'm not gonna play it. Oh, that's nice. That's that's a nice. I'm just going to kill this because if they want to trade... I guess they could, in response, fire blast something. No, I can't kill this because that is not how this works, unfortunately. Do we play land this turn? No. Let's play second red. What if you have a Mox plus Mana Drain pack one? I think it's Mox. 100% Mox. Mox keeps you more open. Taking four here is rough when they have Fire Blast. They're probably going to attack us with this guy and then try to draw some cards. But they have three in hand, I guess. I think bribery and treachery are the the two blue cards that are very very close to to power. <laughs> this is a deck Gion's toddler with draft. Well, no, there's no Utamogs in it, so it's hard for Chion to draft this. opponent looking at cards is there some combo here i'm missing no dude it's just uh it's just we just got mardu good stuff mm. they didn't attack i thought that chicken was coming in for sure oh god something something bad is happening oh yeah we got to kill that guy why didn't they attack there borat curry very nice Oh, Lord. Are they... Hmm. Interesting. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, that'll do. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Council's Judgment. We're going to name your Rekindling Phoenix. That dude is just bonkers. And then we're going to play... I guess we'll play a Swamp because we don't need the forest anymore. We'll just play this guy. Kill you because you're very scary. If they want to trade two goblins for Glint Sleeve Siphoner, I'm fine with that. Whenever you see Council's Judgment played, you just hope the opponent doesn't know how it... We're like, what are you going to pick? Oh, I'll pick a Bomat Courier. And I'm like, okay, good. I did it. I'll take your Council's Judgment.
Man, this wolf is doing some work, though. So I know we're at basically 12 life because we know they have Fire Blast in hand. Hazaret. Hazaret. Now they're going to sack two lands and Fire Blast us so that Hazaret can get in there? No, guess not. Guess not. Seems good. All the things are happening. I actually, I'm actually going to pay for this because we can still cast everything else in the deck. And it's a good blocker against the Hazaret, so. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Huh. I guess we're doing that. I guess we're just going to Metamorphose here, right? Well, that's pretty good, too. If we actually, if we do this, they just fire blast in response. Maybe we just play Batter Skull. Yeah, we'll just Batter Skull. Yeah, we got the domain. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. I don't want to attack with Bone Shredder because I'd rather just prevent five and block it. Had the mana for Mystic Snake. We did actually. We could have uh, Manamorphosed for double blue. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright, so Goblin Rival Master post combat. Can we just put can we just put Batter Skull on the Bone Shredder? That gives us enough mana for Nighthawk. Or bounce batter skull. We know they have Fire Blast in one other card, so. Oh, they just have Fire Blast now. Okay. It's good to know. Oh my god, we're doing it. We're doing it. Ugh, so good. So if we do this, they have to fire blast, otherwise a five five, right? We could also put on the Hangerback Walker, which would be pretty insane. Did this goblin change art, or was it always this goblin? I don't know. Whatever. It was probably always this goblin, because it's a Dominaria goblin. It was made by Siege Gang, which was reprinted in Dominaria, so... Yep. Wow, Fire Blast on the Bone Shredder. <whistles> that seems good. But now it doesn't... I don't lose the germ, so that's actually great. That's pretty good. So we can play this. We can't play Boros Signet and Vampire Nighthawk. But we can just play... Vampire Nighthawk. Sure. Yeah, I think we're way ahead right now. We get to keep up this. If we, we can block here, take a point. Not lose anything. This is going quite well. Oh my god, did we just get to chump block goblins? That's great. Well, they're going to draw three here, so that's unfortunate, but... But my courier is always like a card that you're like, oh, big deal. You got a couple cards under there, your hand's full, no big deal. But then they just like draw three from it and you're like, oh no, biscuits. This is where they're like, oh, I drew the abrade. Let me kill your batter skull. We might as well get our six life in here now before they uh before they manage to drop the vortex. I guess we have Nahiri though. We just exile vortex. That's actually great. Manic Vandal killing Batter Skull? That sucks. Oh, 
I'm done. There it is. It's your boy. One, two, three. Tristani. One. I guess just this guy. Hazard's pretty obnoxious here, but. Uh, I'm actually not going to play the, the Signet, because if we want to discard it to Nahiri, we can definitely do that. I mean, they're on. They're in top deck mode. And then we get to chump block every turn with gain two life. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> this deck is sweet. Char, Pyroclasm. Like, Pyroclasm seems fine against them, but I don't know if... Eh, maybe... Maybe take out, like, Miss Mirak Fiend for Pyroclasm. Or Tide Hollow Skeller, because Tide Hollow Skeller dies to a removal and it's harder to cast. I can see that. One Mardu goodie buck. Spaghetti Toucher, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Somebody touch my spaghetti! No, we want the forest in, because we have Tristani and... Where were you this whole time? <laughs> we got Huntmaster and Tristani in the deck now. I see them now, unfortunately, they were on Arena, so I couldn't really tell what was going on. You see what? What are you talking about? Ooh. This deck is like the dumpster at a cake bakery. Sweet, sweet trash. I think this hand's actually fine. If we can draw like an inspiring vantage or a concealed courtyard or something, I think it's good. Like that, sure. Because now we have the mana for this and this and this and yeah, we can cast everything in our hand except for the Nahiri, so. That's nice. Oh, it's a little Grimmy boy. Oh, we can just play that, that's pretty cool. Siege Gang Inferno Titan. These are the only cards in your hand. Wow. Oh, that's good for us. I guess you will not be missing land drops, my friend. <laughs> okay. Bonfire, and I assume you will play a mountain. Yep, that's good. Can we get a Pyroclasm followed by Bone Shredder into the uh, Inferno Titan? I guess we want to draw a Mountain Pyroclasm here. But they have no real answer to the Nighthawk at this juncture, so... Oh, that's, that's a Mountain. Alright. Especially because we have the green. That's insane. Um, do you want the extra card or the extra two life? I think we want the extra card here yeah this seems better okay so one more I want the extra card because I want to dig deeper and try to find a way to deal with siege gang commander when it hits that's a good way to do it and play land one two three actually we could just kill this guy now they're going to play uh, Siege Gang next turn. Yep, here comes Siege Gang. We get the Flame Tongue of this guy. Found the Inspiring Vantage and the Pyroclasm! Oh, Jesus, we're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's insane. This is why we play the arena, guys. This is why we play the arena. Oh, man. Okay, so Metamorphose. Get a red and a white. Let's just get two red here in case we draw another card that we can cast. Nope, just that. I mean, we're going to lose our Nighthawk here, but we still get to kill it with Bone Shredder. One, two, three, four, five. That's insane. Why not Nahiri? What do you mean? Last turn? Well, it's, it's a mono-red deck. I want to be able to gain life. 
Yep, this guy, this fat idiot. <laughs> oh, stop calling their creatures fat idiots. Never. Oh, get back Nighthawk, I like that. Uh, one, two, three. Bone Shredder's ready. So this guy's gone. I assume that mountain's gone. Sulfuric Vortex? I got Nahiri. That's totally fine, dude. And let's return and make them discard. So they have no cards in hand. Uh, not gonna pay for this guy, because we're just gonna Nahiri. Actually, yeah, no, we're gonna Nahiri and... Nope. So, Nahiri is Ren, one, two, three. Nighthawk. Your move. <coughs> Sure. Draw a card. Yes. Discard Swamp. Take a Bane Fire. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Uh, let's just play this. Crack it. Get Swamp. One, two, three, four. Kavu. Kill this guy. I feel like we're ahead, guys. Can we just bane fire them for a million next turn? I think so. Four, five. Oh, they're just dead to the board, right? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then we can. Yeah, they're yeah. I really, Dimitri's not afraid. Correcting inherent misogynistic language when whilst simultaneously smashing a backslid banana stipulation draft bits. Dimitri, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, let's get this default forest out of here. And add, I guess, another black mana. Black is definitely the highest represented here. Is there a reason we're not just main decking these these other two cards? I mean, probably because of the mana cost, but I guess it's fine. One rare mythic, three uncommons, ten commons, one snow covered land, one token, double faced, and possibly foil, and one art series cards. Was it 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? That's 17 pa cards per pack? Is that official? I assume it is because Chris is a judge. I'm just kidding, guys. Chris hasn't judged for a while. This is just a meme I'm doing. I'm, all, I'm including all this information for my video. For my for my video, I'm gonna make a little video about Modern Horizons. So, would you like to play first? I would. I feel like our mana is actually better with uh, three color with four colors than it is with three colors. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, why can't they just do double faced foil tokens too? That's weird. That's a weird uh, distinction to make there. All right. I don't think we're ganging up on anybody. Like no one's even no one's even mentioning the person. It's literally just let's 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 just put it to rest. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't crack this because I wanted to hit another lamb, but now we're just gonna take the Oh, take the damage and run. Woo hoo. Go on, take the damage and run. We got Rebel Arc, Kite Sail, Freebooter Non creature? Non-creature, non-land. So you probably take Coligon's command. I think we have to take Thalia here.
Yeah, Turner, definitely do that. Sounds good. So you played Swamp, you played Kite Sail, you got three cards. Two of them are five drops. Deal. Also, Frexian Arena seems pretty good for us. So they might take that, but we don't have a second black or a second red. They took the arena. Unbelievable. Um, I, I just want to hit a land here. Uh, let's go red black I guess well that is unfortunate because now we have four cards in hand I wish we could get a creature back destroy an artifact no artifact I'm just going to pass here I think we can get to a point where we can just take advantage of that so Oh, I think I look sad because I feel like our opening hands don't do much. They're all it's like a very mid mid rangey they're all very mid rangey. Right? And so I'm like, there's no like explosive turn one or turn two or turn three even. Wouldn't you rather go back arena? I mean, yeah, I'd love to, but I can't. Well, that's unfortunate because we have a bunch of cards. We saw this. So we need a Revel Arc Batter Skull. Seems good. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, they have Mother of Runes, which means you probably can't kill a Kite Sail Freebooter with Kolagon's Command. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard of this card before, but it's a, it's a pretty good one. They actually just trade Dauntless Bodyguard from his Mirror Fiend and then they play Thalia. That seems bad. I just saw a random one with no text. Mother of Runes has always had text, my friend. Oh, she has always had some text. Um, if we block, they get Thalia back. We can't kill Thalia, and then it just kind of... It kind of makes things real sad. I'm just going to pass. I'll take three. Scrap Heap Scrounger. I mean, being able to play Flame, flame Tongue Cobbler is pretty good. Not having an answer for Mom, pretty bad. Oh, we can play Gideon and force Mom to attack? Oh, that seems great. Go on. Take the money and run. Ooh, ooh. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they're probably going to give protection pre-combat because they have to now. Turn five, once we have five mana and we can start casting either two spells a turn or one big spell a turn, that is definitely where we turn the corner. Yep, that's uh, that's a thing right there. We're also going to block the bodyguard this turn because Thalia doesn't really bother us anymore and I don't want them to have the indestructibility because... Yeah, this is going to be nuts. This is going to be the blowout turn because they have three lands and you can have your Thalia back. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut... Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, Frixian Arena is a combo with, with Library because it gives you enough cards in your hand to keep, to keep things going. Yep. All right, so... Huh. So we can just flame tongue kavu kill this 
Thalia kill Thalia? Kill Scroungy? That's synergy, not a combo. Adjusts glasses. <laughs> That's synergy, you see. Hmm, yes. Um, we could kill Scrounger and... We can kill three things here. How do we kill all four? I don't see killing all four, but I can see killing three. I mean... Even if the land wasn't tapped, it's only six mana. I mean, we could play this if we had an extra black and this came into play. We can go black, black. Yeah, we could we could play this and play this, but... I mean, we're definitely going to go uh, destroy an artifact and deal two damage. Kill you. Kill you. And then we're going to kill the mom, right? That sounds so bad. And destroy target tapped creature. Vantage. Ad more like more like advantage. Us. So next time we can also avalanche ride one of their lands. Probably the planes, I would imagine. Because they got a revel arc, but... Oh yeah, mom has to die for sure. You don't leave... You, you're looking for the... Oh, we just won the game. <laughs> I guess Gideon Jura is too good. Gideon Jura is a hell of a drug. Alright, we didn't actually do anything that game, but we won it anyway, so... I kind of like Huntmaster again, man. I'm going to be honest. I also... Pyroclasm is also nuts here. Let's take out the Fiend and the Sculler. Because those guys just die to stuff. Uh, we can also bring in Damnation, maybe? Bring in the Damnation. I think it's actually fine like this. I like this hand a lot. It has all of our colors. It has a turn two, turn three play, and we just need another red for this uh, Siege Gang Commander. Every game with this. Every game with your Mother of Runes. Look with your Mother of Runes. Kitty was like, yo mom, come at me, brah. Oh no. Oh no. Are you coming at me, mom? Wow, this is an aggressive. Your mom is really aggressive. Time to get my kid from school. I have to catch the rest of the YouTube great tip. Later. Dimitri, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thanks for the bits and the donations and hanging out. Really appreciate it. I gotta turn this fan off. It's getting a little. My face is going numb. Dang, mom got the sweet new kicks. <laughs> she really does. All the other moms with the sweet new kicks, you better run, better run. Out run, Thalia. Father likes when mom is a yikes. Yikes. That is one yike, one yike from me. All right, what are we getting here? Look at all our options. This is wonderful. Oh, flame tongue kavu seems like, like a gas. Uh, I think we actually just want. Actually, I kind of want avalanche rider to kill their one, their one black mana. Oh man, huntmaster seems good though. Let's get huntmaster. We can hunt master next turn, followed by mm, siege gang. If we hit a red, don't want to attack here. They just double block, and even if they didn't have protection, they still have first strike. So, unfortunately, Thalia is pretty oppressive. So does so is smother of runes. <sighs> That's aggressive. Interesting. I was like, okay, do that. I'll take five. Get in there, draw a card. Um, oh, then they just give it pro... Oh, yeah, they're never doing that. Oh, then they just... They can give it pro black, then move this over, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take three. 
This is really confusing. It amuses me that we got upset about the forest being in the deck, but then we have Cyborg in a forest. Yeah, right? I was like, dang, what's this forest doing in here? Oh, wait. What it's doing is very, very good. I'm going to assume they're running out of cards soon. And so we can flip this guy pretty easily. Oh, wow, that's rude. All the other kids, they have the pumped up kicks. Better run, better run. Outer on my mother. Ooh, Night's Whisper, huh? I wouldn't have been able to resist the card drawing. It's tough, man. Equip is at sorcerer speed. Wouldn't that kill the 3-2? Um... Oh, it has Shroud. They can't actually target the guys that are... That's interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely blocking this guy. This guy's just going to get oppressively large. It has first strike. I'm terrible at this game. This guy has first strike as a 3 3? That's so bad. It's so hard to see, man. Like, it says shroud in blue, but it doesn't say first strike until, like, I have to, like, cling in. I have to zoom in and then look at the second row. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I just threw that. I just threw two guys away. They're probably like, what am I missing? And I'm like, you're not missing anything. That's just a bad play. That's just me forgetting Student of Warfare as first strike. Joke's on you. I wanted those creatures in the graveyard. I could have just as easily blocked this guy. That was so bad. I was literally going to ask for a pyroclasm. That's hilarious. <laughs> pyroclasm kills Mother of Rune? No, it makes it indestructible. Wait, they can't target it, right? Yes, they can. Dang it. So they would actually save this. They'd probably give this pro red, and then they'd like still get to keep Mother and Thalia. Mother and Thalia. I do kind of want to wait a turn, especially because next turn I can draw a card. But I don't know if I want to not play a land because of that. I think I still want to play a land. We can't jam Batter Skull. They have Thalia. I want to play a land here. You better, you better save her now. You better save her now. Oh, wow. Wow, that's great. <laughs> that's pretty good. We could have also killed the Dauntless Bodyguard. That's a good one, too. Oh, that's a fascinating. Yep, this card's going to be problematic. Use all your mana. I think they just realized that they don't actually have enough to, to give a double strike. They're like, oh wait, <laughs> it's seven, not six. Okay, so we've both made Student of Warfare uh, mistakes here. Yep, that seems good. Oh, they don't put it back on mom? That's interesting. Does that mean anything? I don't think so. Man, this Glint Sleeve Siphoner has just been just been wasting away so what happens they give protection to this this doesn't die they sack this so we're basically trading pyroclasm and glinsleeve siphoner for dauntless bodyguard or yeah that doesn't seem great 
Second red would be nice here. They can just block with these two, I guess. And then we kill this guy. They're probably just going to take it. I wish I could play two cards here. This is problematic. I guess we could play Pyroclasm and then one, two, three, four, five. and then Hangerback Walker for two seems okay. And that would flip this guy. Let's just get in there and see what happens. Yeah, just get take four, I guess. All right. Let's see if they figure it out. Yep, they did. Pro that guy. Sack the bodyguard. And then we're trading two for one, but we're also going to be able to play this. Play Walker for two. And then flip Ravager. Wow. <laughs> Cool. That was that was cool. But it was not cool. It was uncool. That is a four four double striker. I am just gonna chump it. Because I do not feel like taking 1,000 damage. If we get to just pull, draw a red, we can play Siege Gang Commander. Also, Batter Skull seems pretty good, too. Strip Mine. Yeah, that's fine. That was never going to draw us any cards anyway. Whoa, that's good. I kind of just want to flip this guy, but uh, I think that's pretty bad considering this guy. So we can actually play Batter Skull, just chump block here, and then equip Batter Skull. But then they give. I guess, does it have Trample? It doesn't have Trample yet. Actually, if they just give this pro red, it's pretty bad. But it's got Shroud right now. Whatever, I'll just play the Batter Skull. Because next turn we get to equip the, this guy with the Batter Skull. And then that's pretty good because then we get the Trampler. They could just go equip it here, give pro black, equip it back. That seems bad. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's something. They keep drawing spells too, which is very, very nice for them. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, this Mother of Runes is actually insane against us. Like, I can't even. I think we're definitely bringing in Damnation now. I uh, didn't realize how ridiculous this would be. Oh, this guy's got a lot of damage here. So we're going to block you. And I guess block you. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Germ survives if they want to activate Mother of Runes. Or rather, Hero survives if they want to activate Mother of Runes. Oh, they can't. So we just get to eat this Hero Blade Hold, which is pretty awesome. Man, my kingdom for a damnation here. It's not in your deck. I know. Sure.
Is that good? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't seem that great. We also don't have double black, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Irrelevant. I'm just gonna keep playing lands because I want to have as much mana as possible. And if we draw a red or a black, it's gonna be relevant because uh, if we draw a black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, so we can play this for five and still shoot something, or we can shoot four things. If they have no life gain, we could. No, oh, we only have three red. Dang it! I was like, if we had enough red, we can actually just shoot them a million times. Sure, that doesn't do anything. I'll draw on my guns. All the other kids. Wait, we just win the game? That's interesting. I don't think we were in any sort of game-winning position here. Wow, that's insane. What in the earth? They didn't have any life gain, so I guess we could just block and shoot, block and shoot. Wow, that's nuts. I don't know how we're doing. I don't know what's going on right now. I almost want to take Tide Scholar, Tide Hollow, and Mesmeric Fiend out, but I think they're pretty good in most situations. Wow, we're 2 0 with this deck right now? With this crazy draft the adjacent cards tip? Shut up and take my money. Play no more than two basic lands. Oh, I actually like this a lot. Bonus points for bolus action. Super Fritz, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I may get to this one tomorrow. I have to I have to run to the the FedEx store after this to print something. If that's all right with you, or I can do it like Monday or whenever whenever works for you, let me know. Oh, okay, cool. If you'll be here tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow because that sounds like a blast. Because it 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 lets me it lets me take a bunch of freaking cool lands, man. I think Huntsmaster is main deck material as well. Wow, three black cards. Ah, eh, Manamorphos actually is, makes this hand keepable. That's pretty cool. You could have equipped the Batter Skull of Siege Gang and then its activation gives you lifelink. Yeah, that's actually, uh, those are some sweet, those are some sweet, uh, bonus points there. Uh oh. Oh boy, we might actually just play Mesmeric Fiend here. Okay, that's actually super nice for whatever they get. Um, black, eh, I'll just say double black. Mesmeric Fiend. Time Walk, Swamp Swamp, Phyrexian Arena, Liliana, I'll just take Phyrexian Arena here. We're like, island. All right, well. Yeah, I don't care about this guy. Would have not minded a land there, but, you know. A step to take lands and a step to blow them up. Yeah, we have lots of land-based stipulation. Oh, biscuits. Biscuits, if you will. At least now you can share a laugh with your opponent about... Yeah, this is definitely the pick. That's sad. Oh, another... All right, so we know three of the four cards in your hand. Seems good. Oh, now you're not attacking. Got him. Got him. Double black, double black. Irrelevant, five mana. That's our life right now. They're like, hey, I do a blue just in time. Oh, another black. All right. Man, this Phyrexian Arena will be messing us up. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. What do we do? What 
do we do? Is it batter skull? Liliana doesn't do much. Hostage taker is annoying. I think they actually block here and then they, they get back their arena. But then we acquisition for Nahiri and then we take it with Nahiri. I think Arena's better than Packer out on this board. Yeah, for sure. Boom, boom, boom. I would actually probably play it. Uh... No, nah, maybe not. Maybe Liliana's better. What happened? Oh, they discarded Hostage Taker and then played it? It's kind of weird. That seems unexciting. got Nahiri doesn't do anything on this board you know, we'll just play Vampire Nighthawk if they want to like play a Boros Signet that's totally fine we're gonna have Time Walk and something else in hand I guess <laughs> well see you later All right, Phyrexian Arena, nice. So now we can eat that. Yeah, we don't want to. We want the. We want to force them to attack with multiple creatures and both of the two drops, so that we can eat hostage taker and then maybe get it back with ink eyes. That seems pretty sick. Of course, there's nothing to reanimate at this juncture, but oh boy, well that's pretty good. Congrats on your final, the final piece of your puzzle. Yep, so we can block Sausage Taker. No, we don't want that in the graveyard, though, because then you just reanimate it, so I guess we'll block here. Nahiri did her job. We traded Nahiri and a, for a zombie and a Phyrexian Arena. Another Ulamog. Well, Biscuits. I like that they did this first, though, because now we can actually block Hostage Taker and ink eyes it okay this could actually be an insane turn oh they're not going to attack though which is still fine i guess yeah this is what we're hoping for <laughs> Flat up kill it. Seems good. So now they're in top deck mode. Next time we can avalanche ride their island. We're just hoping they don't hit Ancestral Recall, I guess. Why wouldn't you play that? That's super weird. Why 
would you hold that? Yep. Beep, beep. Oh, they drew another one. Dang, they're so good at this this island game. No, I don't care about you. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. <laughs> oh, lots of things to kill your opponent with. No, Ink Eyes is uh, like an unappreciated card in the queue where you're just like, nah, I ain't gonna have anything here. And then you get Flesh and Ink Eyes and they're like, what just happened? That's pretty good. All right, well, let's... Let's beat. As long as Ink Eyes has Regenerate, which is hidden underneath all the text, uh, we're not going to play anything pre-combat. Okay, so they go to 8. I don't know if we play anything here. I guess we can actually play Recruiter and still keep up Regenerate mana. Which I think is fine. Rick's Mad Eye Reveler, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. We can just get the Tide Hollow Sculler for next turn. Let's see what happens. It's just drawing a card. They have two cards in hand. I have no idea what they could be. I mean, we have more than enough to not extend into like Wrath of God, but we also have Siege Gang, Flame Tongue, Bone Shredder, and Tide Hollow Sculler in hand. So, they have three cards. Are they waiting for a second blue? Perhaps. Mayhaps. Necromancy. Getting Hostage Taker. Targeting Ink Eyes. Yeah, that's a thing, I guess. Ink Eyes does cost six mana, though, so that taps them out. Unless they don't want to do it. Don't say you're not going to die. It's a little Dana Carvey when he was doing George Bush, I believe. HW. Pretty sweet that you did this step and the mana denial step all in the same. Yeah, we got the got the Avalanche Rider, you know, so. Uh they took the Batter Skull. Oh no. Eh, it's still going to tap you out to use it, so. And we can Flame Tongue Kavu the Batter Skull? The, the Jeremy Boy? Jeremy Boy! I hope we can get one more land, because that's really what I want to do. Because I want to be able to go Tide Hollow Skull or take one of your last two. Kill this. We can actually kill this. Yep, that's what we wanted. Okay. One, two, Sculler My Shoe. Yeah, we'll take the Liliana's Triumph. You can keep that Olamog in your hand. Uh, Flame Tongue, if we kill this, they have to block with this, but then they gain some life. Yeah, we're just doing this. 
They block here, they take one, two, three. That's whatever. Then they equip it next turn, I guess, which is worse. But they have to actually they have to block here, right? Oh, they go to they go to one. Oh no, not recruiter. Oh, we get putrid imp? Yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> That's pretty good. They can't block. They gain, what, six? So they go to seven, and that's most of their turn. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, this is hard to deal with. So you can't fly. This does not have flying, but I can discard a card to give it flying. Seems terrible. Uh, this guy can't block, so no. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> I thought so. I think we're just attacking with this guy. And then, like, if they try to attack back, we can double block with, like, Ink Eyes and Flame Tongue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're like two mana away from this guy, which is nice. We're definitely playing this. It's four, five, six. Maybe we don't block with this. We can just chump block. Yeah, I like having Siege Gang out when we have three red and they're at six. We could have held. I mean, probably holding Nighthawk back was better. I I, I don't like holding Nighthawk back when we're going to block with Ink Eyes and Flame Tongue. But if we're actually not blocking with Ink Eyes and Flame Tongue, I feel like I like holding Nighthawk back better. So that was just a change of plans. They are attacking, huh? Fudge. Willamog and two other cards. Do we like this? I think we do. I think this is fine. Gets it off the board. If they have a removal spell, I think it's fine too. Oh wow, this is this is pretty good. So now they just have a useless batter skull. I guess they can equip the batter skull, but they don't have any creatures right now. If they have like if they just drew damnation or something, it's pretty bad. We also have we have needle spires, I guess. But they get Liliana's triumph back. Spires does have double strike, yes. Okay, so it's a blue card. It's not damnation because they want to use the blue, or it is, or they just want to keep the blue up because they. Yikes. What does Corpse Dance do? Okay, well, it's f it's gone now. Okay, hold on. Exile Hostage, check at the beginning of the next end step. Sure. Okay, so this guy just goes away. He took Tide Hall's color. Okay, so you're just dead, right? One, 
two, three, four. Activate this thing. So if they block here, they take five, six, seven. We'll lay out his triumph. Um, sure. Sack putrid imp. If you block here, you take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That sucks. If you block here, you take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have to actually block in guys, or else you're dead. Oh, uh, we cannot return the battle shell. They can, they control it, but that has already been answered. So, what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What? You're just dead. Three cards? Am I missing something? All right, we'll go to damage. Okay. There's no reason to sack the goblin because if we go to damage, they lose. So, like, if they're going to try some shenanigans in response before they die, then I can sack the goblin. But they're also tapped out. But, like, once we go to damage, they've already lost. So I can leave it as is. It's up to them to do something. So that was really kind of strange. Uh, Vampire Hex Mage seems good here. Tristani seems actually great, surprisingly again. Because we gain control of all our permanents back. I think that's probably good enough. Yeah, because if the onus the onus is on them to do something, I'm like, you're dead here, so it's up to you to do something. No, I was considering it, but, like, the problem is... I don't know. Maybe it's correct. I like having the reach, though. I don't know. What, what did they, Were they tapped out? If they were tapped out, then, yeah, that's probably correct, and then we just kill them. Oh, snap key. So we're going to go up to nine cards, we're going to play a land, and then we're going to have to discard something, huh? I might just play a guy here to go back down to seven. Next turn we can play Neil Spires and draw. Choose a card. Let's get rid of Mountain here. seems fine okay I'll sack this guy and we have to make sure to draw the card before they before they we let Liliana resolve Gonna be Verdant Catacombs. Planes? Get rid of Recruiter. Factor Fiction, huh? Oh, we can give you a Mana Crypt. Baleful Strix.
yes, Mastermind searches both. Um, so this goes in the graveyard, and then you can animate dead it. That's interesting. They play land this turn. It's turn four. They can go mana crypt signet. Ooh, that's that's bad. I don't like that. Yeah, I'll give you that. I have no idea like how to. I don't know how to sort these. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't know, man. This is actually a tough pile. What did they take? They took Mana Crypt Strix. That's actually pretty good for us. I guess. I don't even know. Does it say here? Nice. Let's actually get rid of Liliana. Oh, that would have been better, right? Actually, can we do that next turn? Maybe? We gotta play something. I guess we can Council's Judgment this. And then exile their hand next turn. I don't even, do I even care about that, though. There's nothing else to do, though. I really want, I want to do something. I should have played Blood Crypt, but we were, our plan was to Council's Judgment, not... I think this is why you do it during upkeep, but then, like... I don't think we care. Like, we just end up winning. But they have Mana Crypt, Baleful Strix, and three random cards. We just don't have a way to get rid of this in the long run, really. I'm just going to get rid of this now. That's my problem. That's the problem I'm working with, is that we don't have a way to get rid of Liliana. Because she goes to three, but then we just don't have a way to do it. So eventually, like, her making a sacrifice or her making us, you know, discard or sacking all our perms, like, she's a threat on the board. We don't have a way to deal with it in the... In the... Yep. Should have done that ourselves. <sighs> well, that was shit. How nice. Well. <laughs> yeah, we should take this out too. This is terrible. Library of Alexandria and and mind shatter mind twist in hand. And they just blow they just they just blow you up. Well they won two flips, so Yes it is. Corpse dance. Targeting Baleful Strix. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Oh, we're getting aggressive here. Let's add a red and a black, I guess. Hanger back, huh? Does that do anything? Probably not. Ugh. 
Who does include speakers? What does that even mean? Uh, got a whole new computer, everything's on the line. Nobody said anything about not coming with speakers. Oh, yeah, no, no computers come with speakers. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, we're just going to concede here. I'm listening to sound of the single ear mic for my PS4. That's a yikes. That's a yikes for me. Tara, welcome back, buddy. Um, all right, maybe we do want these guys. Yeah, we're bringing these guys in. We'll take the bone shredder out. Um, having a way to deal with pack rat might be nice. I'll take out Reveler. Oh boy. Pyroclasm and Damnation. I'm, I mean, like, the only creatures we've seen are creatures that. Maybe Pyro. Maybe Damnation is probably good. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. You hear that, cat? So long, Batter Skull. I hardly knew you. That's pretty good. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube or anywhere, Twitch, really, wherever you want to watch it, check check out meundies.com slash franklapore, where you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, you'll find some of the most comfortable micromodal underwear and lounge pants. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> seems good. One, two, three. Oh, five mana. So I'm just going to put mind twist and like. Overgrown tomb in the same pile. Sure. So you can take overgrown and mind twist my whole hand. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Check it out. I mean, I would put Mind Twist by itself, but then they're just going to take the, the pile of four, I bet. Oh, they took the pile of three. Fascinating. Uh, not the best remaining, but, like, the card I would take. So I'd be like, oh, in this pack I'd probably take Woodfall Primus for our deck. And then we looked at the other cards and figured it out. Okay, so... Time Walk Liliana, sure. Guess we sack Nighthawk. Oh, we're not sacking Nighthawk. Yeah, we're just way too far behind right now. This is unfortunate. We went 2-0 and then 2-1 in the last round. So, I mean, this is actually... We're one, literally one game away from having 3-0'd, which is pretty insane. Also, do me a favor, guys, and check out manatraders.com if you guys are looking for any kind of subscription service for physical paper cards or even Magic Online cards. Manatraders.com. You can find the link and the promo code in my description below, and you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription, which is a great way to try it out. It's a really cool service. Man, you never thought we'd win a game? Ye of little faith, my friend. Ye of little faith. And Corpse Dance, getting back Grave Titan. Seems good. Uh, Goalie, appreciate the support, man. I will do them for as long as you want to support. Thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate it. That's not going to do it. Let's play Recruiter and see what we can get here. Anything good? Well, I think it's probably just Hex Mage here. Play the second white so we have two white in play. Yeah, Hex Mage kills Lily, but I think the problem is going to be these four zombies when we're at 14.
Oh, well, they, they're like, you know what? It's not worth it. I guess we go to six, and then we block one, and, and then we die. So I think we did. Man, where's that damnation when we needed it? Well, you should have boarded the damnation, at dubby. Snapcaster targeting time walk. Great games. That's not good games, right? That's not good games. It's not signaling the end. He's literally just saying they were good games, and I agree with that, and that's cool. Do that. And then we die. I'll give you the satisfaction of turning them sideways. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons and hit that bell as well. You get those notifications whenever a new video pops up. Really appreciate you guys as always. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.